Hi there, Richie here from The Review Room. We've had a huge amount of discussion on our benchmarking segments, both on the original iPhone 5 versus Galaxy S3 benchmarking post, and then the Jelly Bean upgraded S3 against the iPhone 5 benchmarking video. Now in the comments area, we've had many of our viewers uh, share the results that they're getting. Uh, some of those were actually higher than what we'd shown ourselves. However, we were using stock software, and a lot of our viewers have taken the plunge and modified their Android phones with custom ROMs. So we thought, why don't we walk down the same road as our viewers and see what results we could get. So what did we do? We routed a Galaxy S3, which isn't nearly as romantic as it sounds, and then we used the Sire kernel and the CM10 nightly ROM for the GS3 from the CyanogenMod Mod community. Now this is actually a build based on Android 4.1.2. We then used the set CPU app to overclock the quad-core processor from 1.4 GHz to 1.7 and the S Tweaks app to modify the frequency and voltage of the GPU, taking the GPU from a maximum of 440 MHz to 700 MHz. So how did this compare to the original GS3 we had? We've got both here to show you the benchmarking scores. So let's start with BrowserMark, the test for HTML rendering and JavaScript performance. A higher score is better. We ran the stock Jelly Bean and got a score of 143,000. Then we ran the custom ROM and got a huge boost to 186,000, so an impressive start for the custom ROM. Then we ran SunSpider, which is based purely on JavaScript handling and was run on both devices. A lower time score is better. The stock OS scored 1319 milliseconds and the custom ROM recorded 1145, so another improvement over stock. Then we ran GeoBenchmark using the latest 2.5 app. This time, instead of a theoretical frames per second, we used the new rendering test, which we ran on screen. This produces a time score for the rendering process, and in this case, a lower score is better. The stock S3 produced a score of 102,000 milliseconds at 11 frames a second. Then our custom ROM device produced 82,000 milliseconds at 14 frames a second. Another clear win for our tweaked Galaxy S3. And finally, the moment we've all been waiting for, the Geekbench results, which is the benchmarking topic that generated the most discussion. So here are the results. The stock Galaxy S3 produced 726, and the custom ROM with the overclock CPU produced 2127, the highest we've ever seen with our own eyes. To be honest, after seeing all these comments, it's great to have gone through the tweaking process ourselves and getting to these Geekbench results uh, to share with you. Now, tweaking isn't for everyone. You void your warranty, uh, software can be unpredictable, and overclocking can put the hardware under a lot of heat and workload stress, and potentially render your expensive smartphone completely unusable. So that's our benchmarking test, comparing the stock Jelly Bean Galaxy S3 and a custom ROM Jelly Bean S3. Now, if you want to see our video that highlights the differences between S Voice and Google Voice, click over here. If you want to see our comparison between 3G and 4G mobile networks, click over here. As always, we'd love to hear what you have to say in the comments area below. Please share this video with your family and friends. Remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel and give this video a thumbs up if you like the video. Until next time. Check this out. Rocking it widescreen style. Pretty cool.